Hi YouTube, Quarry Gamer here, and today I'm going to bring you another FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Squad Builder, and it's a similar squad builder to my last one, but here it is, it's a 4-3-3 in the false 9 formation, we start off in goal with Burnt, Leno, 82 diving, 82 handling, 81 kicking, 83 re reflexes, 83 positioning, second best keeper in the game in my opinion behind Manuel Neuer right back we have Danny Carvajal 83 pace 78 dribbling 76 defending and 82 physical first center back is Jerome Boateng in there with 77 pace 83 defending and 82 physical and then our second center back for only a thousand coins on PlayStation which is actually ridiculous for an 84 rated center back with 75 pace 88 defending and 84 physical playing for Bayern Munich as well Left back, we have Patrice Everett in there for the chemistry reasons rather than his stats. But he is a very, very solid player with 79 pace, 79 defending and 78 physical. In there at centre mid, we have Paul Pogba. 76 pace, 78 shooting, 79 passing, 83 dribbling and 88 physical. In for, <coughs> in for an upgrade coming up shortly. So he will be absolutely incredible when he gets upgraded in January or February, sorry. Center CDM, we have Philip Lahm, 76 pace, 87 defending, and very, very solid CDM. In there at right CM, we have Luka Modric, 76 pace, 74 shooting, 85 passing, 89 dribbling. Then the right wing position, we have Carlos Vela, 86 pace, 77 shooting, 74 passing, 85 dribbling, four star skills on him. And then in the left wing position, we have Antoine Griezmann. 85 pace, 77 shooting, 76 passing, 83 dribbling, and again, 4 star skills on him. And then for the final player in the squad, we have James Rodriguez in that centre forward position. 80 pace, 80 shooting, 84 passing, 85 dribbling, 72 physical, and 5 of the 6 from midfield forward have 4 star skills. So it's a really, really nice team to use if you want to use skill moves. If you want to long shots, Pogba and Modric, really nice long shots in there. If you want to uh, play a bit sweaty, you can bomb it down the rings, wings with the two pacey wingers there. And it's just a great team to use. I would definitely recommend you guys picking it up. And it's only going for around 150k at the moment. Uh, with players like uh, Lam and Modric really going down in price on the PlayStation at the moment. It's just a really, really fun team to use. I would definitely recommend you guys pick it up. I mean, Hammers Rodriguez, my favourite player to use in the centre forward position this year, actually. Got pace, dribbling, he has got the lot. I mean, four-star skills, finishing. I mean, he's just an absolutely incredible player in the cam position or centre forward position. If you want to play Benzema in that centre forward position, I wouldn't hesitate to do so. He can do a job. Or even that second inform Isco card. Uh, that is on the market at the moment, but uh, obviously second and four go a bit pricey and Benzema uh, just doesn't have as good a passing for me as James Rodriguez does and that is the reason I have chosen him ahead of the other two possibilities uh, and it's just a really really fun team to use. I would definitely recommend it. I mean the only weakness that I can possibly see it is that Philip Lahm doesn't win many headers in the midfield but when you have Paul Pogba alongside him he more than makes up for that. I mean, Pogba's height enables him to win those headers that Philip Lahm just can't. Um, if you want to swap them round, so Lahm's the centre mid and Pogba's the CDM, you can do that. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you need that height in that CDM position, you can do that. But guys, we are not now coming towards the end of the video. So if you have enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more FIFA 15 content. All the support you've been giving me recently has been absolutely incredible. So if we could keep that up, I'd really appreciate it. 